Push up. Alright, go. <laughs> Testing. Check. Okay. Does it work? Yep. Can you hear me? I don't hear nothing. <laughs> you want a headset? You ain't got no speakers? I got no fucking surround mics? Yeah, man. This so, so this is where I think you said fucking interview's going. <laughs> start off. He'll go you start oh off. Oh my us. god. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about how you got how you and Paul started racing. Oh, let me get a drink. I got it started. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I almost spit that one out. Oh no, let's get serious for a minute. All right. <laughs> Jesus, <it ain't> gonna happen. <laughs> this is going to hell in a handbag. All right, don't get too crazy. I'll try to have some fun with you, but when I say that's it, that's it, man. You know. We take eagles. We can say that too. Eagles for that. You need to be drinking, bro. Hey, yeah, it's already classy. All right, go ahead. Uh, I built a car, and uh, uh, Paul, Paul was wasn't real vocal about it, but there's a number of people that told me the best thing I could ever do for racing was, was not get back behind the wheel. <laughs> yeah, I told him that. Uh, no, I did, no, I didn't. Uh, the first time I run the car, I built a car, uh, and uh, I went down the, the hilltop, and I come out of the corner, and Paul said, well, you are on the brakes at the, the flag stand, and I told him, I said, I was trying to get it stopped, because uh, it, it scared the hell out of me. Uh, my last race car was a 75 Buick, and it had, I think it was only running on like six cylinders. <laughs> and uh, we built this car, and it was just, just, it's, it's not a beginner's car. So, uh, I know everybody told me, you put Paul in the car, to, you know, he'd tell you if you built a good car or not. And, uh, he drove the car, and it scared the hell out of me. Because I know he was going to hit the wall, I didn't know he'd come through a corner like that. And it just snowballed from there. So how do you guys feel, either one of you guys, how do you guys feel about your racing now and as far as he drives the car, you build the car? Uh, um, has it improved a lot since then, your skills? Uh, my, my, my skills uh, as far as uh, tuning on the car and the suspension, uh, our communication uh, back and forth uh, is just... It's like a match made in heaven. Uh, no, there's no, you know, it used to be a 15 minute conversation. Now we can do it in just a couple minutes. Uh, I, I guess he has faith in me that the changes I make will work. I got faith in him that he, that he can drive the car. Uh, it just, this year just astounded us. We had, we had no idea that would be successful as we as we ended up being. Paul, when you started the 2016 season, did, what did you? Well, he just said you didn't have. There was no thoughts that you guys were going to be successful as you were. Was you kind of on the same page as him at that point, or did you have different outlook on it? All I know is Jeff wanted to build a car. I helped him kind of step through how to put a car together that could be a contender and he put me in the seat and we ran really good last year we were honored for all the help from everybody TA's family for supporting me on the motor I wouldn't even done the rest of the year like I did I appreciate it it's awesome what is one of the things that you guys have learned by working together over the past year that you've been together about racing first and then about each other second. Because you guys are you guys are friends from the way back. What is the thing that's different in your friendship and racing knowledge over the past year? Um, I didn't know it was, but he was uh, he had OCD about sweeping the floor every time we moved the car. Uh, just uh, And we, 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 we learned a lot 
uh, as far as I, I actually it actually uh, stiffened our friendship. Uh, uh, now we, we talk we talk daily, you know, both driving truck and being on the road all week. Uh, we talk daily. We talk about the car. Uh, I guess one thing we really learned uh, it just really is you know is you, you got to prepare the car before you get to the track. Uh, you know. You track, the car needs to be able to go on the track when you get to the track. You know, instead of saying, well, we're going to do this. Well, we go ahead and get to the track, then we'll do this. And, and that seemed to bite us in the ass a couple of times. So we sort of try to, you know, try to be a little bit more prepared. You, there's never too much as being prepared and, uh, you know, just being, uh, uh, what would you say, you know, just being, uh, you know, if you ask any of the great race car drivers, they'll tell you racers are one in the shop. And after this year, I, 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 I see what they're talking about. Well, what, what about you? How did you learn more as a friendship, as your friendship developed or with Jeff? I've always been, yeah, a, you I've always been a really good friend of Jeff and always will be. A, Done a lot of stuff with him. He wanted to build a race car. I helped him build a race car. We built it, and I bought the car from him, and we had a successful season this year. And next for the 2000 season, 2017 season, there's some big differences, and you know, big changes you guys are planning on doing as far as what you like to do publicly. Um, what, can you elaborate what your plans are this year as far as? Uh, uh, well, we we're going to run the the blue collar street stock series. Uh, it's a sort of a statewide multi-state deal with you know street stocks, you know. But we're going to run Wayne County. That is our home track. Uh, we're going, you know, we're going we're going to support Wayne County. Uh, a lot of it is, uh, you know, with Jason with Christian. You know, I think they run a, a great opera. Uh, just a fabulous operation. Uh, of course, just like any other track, you know, you, you're gonna have your bumps here and there, but it's still, you know, I, we like the track. It's a fast track. They give us a good track to race on every week. Uh, we got a lot of good friends, you know. Uh, some people don't realize you see them go neck and neck on the track, but when we get back in the pits, we're all we're, we're all like a big like a big extended family. Uh, we're planning on running. Uh, Midway down to Crooksville, Ohio on Friday nights. Uh, we're going to try to run down there on Friday nights. And uh, if we got an off week here and there, we're going to try to maybe sneak out if there's a good race somewhere, you know, depending on financing, you know. Well, so, how, how, how's that? How, what are your thoughts on like running blue collar stock this year? I think be yeah. I think it'd be kind of cool. Hillbill and M contacted me and told me about it, and I checked it out. And T A Pring swung by, picked me up. We went down to the meeting, and we signed up for it. So we're running the series. So is it something that, with all of that, and then obviously Wayne County's coming back with this, the Summer Point series as well, and you are the defending 2016 defending champion. Um, that kind of put a lot of different pressure on you as far as the summer stock series and coming into the blue collar series? No pressure at all. This is just, this is an awesome sport. I and mean, we put our, it's in our blood. I grew up doing this, you know, and I haven't had very good cars and motors running and stuff to be able to do as good as I've been doing. It's fabulous. Couldn't do it by myself. It's a team effort. He'll Billy build a hell of a car. I just took over, started driving it, and can't wait till next year. Get back out there and have some fun. Definitely. But an ounce left was it that bad? Must have been. We suck. Well, first we <laughs> went over to some farm truck and drove somebody else's car. You trying to, you trying to just keep it in the United States? Of course, we gotta wait for my child support to pay before I get a passport. I can't be I can't be tuning a car over the phone. 
Hey, welcome to the Holmes's Garage, everybody. Hope everybody has happy holidays. Jay, there you go. We're rebuilding for next year. <laughs> you have to tell them we're racing in Wayne County. Or we're not going overseas. All that, all that work for nothing. <laughs> so I guess you got to cancel your... I'm drugging him. He's going in. I'm going to put him in a bag. <laughs> Send him FedEx. FedEx! That's all I get? Shit. Well, at least you're getting in the end. Oh, wait. Don't be cussing. Got to be clean interview. <laughs> yeah, okay. Are you all right? Ready? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Are you ready? You need your ration hat. You need your good luck hat on. Oh, hell. Let's just do what we got to do here. I got a broken chair and everything, man. Well, you... well maybe it's got a concussion. That is a junior chair, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! Right. No, the, the, the only problem we have with our with our racing program is nobody takes me seriously. Oh boy, I told you it's gonna be a good interview, right? Okay, what are some of your big plans that you small plans that could be big for 2017? Well, what one uh, goal you want to accomplish? Uh, this. This year, uh, I, you know, it sort of caught me off guard, as you know. Everybody said, you know, who, you know, who's sponsoring you, and I didn't really, uh, it, it really never crossed our mind to even look at sponsorship. I figured it'd just be a bunch of broke country, bunch of broke truck drivers racing, and uh, some people, you know, said, you know, get sponsors, and I'm like, I don't even know how to go about doing it. Uh, but we got some uh, couple people, you know. Nancy Mama, she, she's working with a couple uh, companies, I guess, about getting some sponsorship uh, to help us race a little bit more, and to help, you know, make us, uh, you know, like covering the tires and whatnot so we can be more competitive. Uh, instead of running the same tires all year. What, for Dirt Track Weekly, would you be interested in doing a moment with Hillbilly segment once a week? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I can, uh, you know, just I'm all, I'm anything got to do with racing, dirt track uh, racing. You know, I can't thank you guys for coming down and doing this uh, interview with us, folks. I tried to do it myself, and it didn't work out too well. <laughs> it was it was really bad. I mean, I even read some books on it, done some research. It just didn't, I t just couldn't get the results I needed. <laughs> well, what about you? <laughs> oh, man. Was there any 3 o'clock phone calls that come in here? Oh, yeah. How about doing some sponsorships and something big for 2017? Oh, man, I don't know. I've never asked for any help with building sponsorship on a car or anything. I just did it family growing up with my dad. And Hillbilly's been a good friend from trucking over the years, and he said he wanted to build a race car, helped him build a race car, and it's always nice to have a little bit of help, though, you know, on the side of the car, sponsorship, advertise names. We had a good year last year, and we're going to have a good year this year. Do you think a lot of the sponsorship might pertain to sponsorship that would be beneficial to join some of the summer leagues or the summer series that you guys want to run? Oh, heck yeah. I welcome any of you. I think it'd be a good time, you know. Make more friends, have a ball. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm having a blast. I don't know how long I can do it out of my pocket because my pocket and his pocket runs this program. That's it, you know. We've never asked for no help from no one. <clears throat> how long exactly have you been racing? Well, my first time was when I was 15 in my dad's car, and it was off and on. I didn't race every year, couldn't afford it. So I'd say I got probably 9, 10, maybe 25 years total, probably 10, 11 total years, you know, where I raced cars. <clears throat> Yo, Billy, what about you? How long have you been racing? Dirt track. Uh, I, I, I grew up in North Carolina. Uh, and it was all about the dirt. 
I mean, I grew up 35 minutes from Charlotte Motor Speedway or Lowe's Motor, whatever the hell they call it nowadays. I guess who I wrote the biggest check, but I never, you know, I always liked my dirt. Uh, you know, then, then I don't look so bad, you know, being an old hillbilly. And, uh, it just, you know, just a, the small, you know, you know, just real, you know, just the close knitness of it. And I messed around, like I say, about 25 years ago, and, you know, wife, two kids, and a $6 an hour job, you know, going dirt track racing was like going to divorce court. So I got out of it, you know, years later, I tried to get back into it, and it's just, there's so much changed, and uh, I found out my neck, my, my neck was working on the car, and uh, it just seemed to work out really, really well. What, uh, for any one of you guys, what is, how long do you guys see yourselves doing this? I mean, is it taking a toll on your body with driving a truck? Do you see yourselves 10 years from now still doing the same thing? Still have the same love for it? I would love to be doing this 10 years from now, you know what I mean? It takes a lot of time and a lot of, you know, help and money to do these things. It does. It, mm. uh... You know, I'm 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 working on my retirement, you know, uh, program. I'm just, you know, I mean, I, I put an application in on the lottery every week. Uh, so, you know, when that kicks in, you know, we're probably doing it. You know, you know, on my on my funeral, you know, I'm, I'll probably die on Sunday because I'll be at the racetrack on Saturday night. Hell yeah! That's the best way to go. Well, I probably be the only the only crew chief on a scooter with a, uh, be on a scooter with a walker, <laughs> you know, had to have See, one. he'll be on a walker, come on now. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I'll get, I'd get one of them motorized chairs to lay me down on the ground trying yeah, to get underneath the car. We're going to put some racing planes on it, too, make it do wheelies through the pits. Did you just see Jason <laughs> with him in the winter circle? Come on, hillbilly, hurry up, get your ass in there for a picture. <laughs> We ain't got to worry about that because we have had Jason telling me, hey, buddy, hurry up and get off the track. we got races to run. <laughs> yeah. I heard that. I've heard him say that a few times. All right, well, hey, guys, Jason, guys, Christian, man, thanks for everything. Track's awesome. Keep guys, it up. You guys have anything else you would like to add um, for future that you would like to do in the future of the upcoming season? I just want to have fun, man. I just want to go there. I want to have fun. I mean, it feels good to have fun. Release it all the heavy footing and feels like you're flying, you know, that you can't do on the road, but you want to do on the road. You know how many times I like to just take the old big truck and just start going at it, you know, but you can't. I don't know how many so, times you wanted to, but oh, I mean, yeah. your driving record can show you how, you give us a ballpark or how many times they do we know you have. Yeah, they have. Yeah. What about you, Bill? I ain't had a ticket in 10 years. I slowed down after they took my license. Yeah, <laughs> what yeah. the hell is wrong with you? Nothing, man. Nothing wrong with me, man. <laughs> hey, we do this just to have fun. I hope the fans enjoy this web page uh, video and everything. You say that at the end of the interview. Well, hey, I mean, <laughs> what, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, we ain't like on TV, we're going to have like an hour or so or whatever. <laughs> I mean, come on now. We're going right. to have a series going what, now. What's it going to be? We're going that, that, that's all, folks. H&H Motorsports, we're going to do interviews on how to put a car together and have fun. And, I mean. <laughs> I can't think of nothing that stops it. Cut. I mean, <laughs>